Hi guys, this is Mrs. Soka, and this is Solar System Scope. To start the simulation, click your mouse within the model, and on the left-hand side, you can see that there's a menu where you can switch between Solar System View and Planetarium Sky View. So um, I'm going to start with Solar System View. I'm going to go through that pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to change the settings on the left between the realistic model and the Ori model. Um, the realistic model is my favorite, but you can choose either one. It really doesn't matter. For the sizes, uh, there's realistic sizes, which is more realistic to scale, still not perfect, because if the sun were this size, the Earth and the other objects in the solar system would be too tiny to put on a pixel, since 99% of the mass of the solar system is in the sun. Um, I can get the constellations labeled and even label the major stars. So. To close that setting, I go to the little X, and um, I can also search for individual things. Like, if this view doesn't give me what I want, I'm like, oh man, I want to find Pluto. So go to Dwarf Planets and click on Pluto. Also, we can change on the right-hand side, we can change whether we zoom all the way in or all the way out. And I'm going to go back in the settings to the... Uh, large sizes because it's a little more fun that way. Zoomed all the way out, I can see um, some dwarf planets like Makemake and Pluto. I'm going to zoom in a little more. Okay, to look at individual solar system objects, I can click on them once and that opens a window that gives me various pieces of information. Like the first piece of information, for example, is on the first button is um, things relative to Earth, such as distance from the sun and orbital period, like the time it takes it to go around the sun. Um, to switch that to the absolute value, where it's not comparing it to Earth, click on absolute. Okay, planetarium view. Oh, I didn't show you the coolest part. Okay, if you double click on the object that you're trying to look at, it brings up, um, obviously, that object, and you can switch between views. So um, I'm gonna switch to the surface view, and then the structural view, and then showing other information about it. It's pretty awesome. Then you go back, and you can do this to everything within the solar system. Okay, planetarium view is awesome. Planetarium view, kind of like Starry Night, maybe a little cooler even, because you can go back and forth between the two of them. Um, you can see in planetarium view what is below the horizon. The only thing that is kind of off about planetarium view is it's showing me what is in the sky right now, even though I'm showing this to you at um, 1341 military time, which is 241 in the afternoon. So the sun is up, which means that the scattered light from the sun is blocking me from seeing any of these objects in the sky, and this planetarium view doesn't show up, but it's still pretty cool because you can see what's up. Okay, to change the time, I can, um, oh, sorry, bottom menu to change the time. Did you see that? Bottom menu to change the time, you can click on either the time exactly, and that will let you change the date and the time to, like, go back to your birthday, your birthday and the year that you were born, things like that. Or you can change the speed at which time goes by with this slider here. Ooh. Or you can go backwards in time or forwards in time and say you get lost in time you're like ah I want to go back to right now you click on actual time and it'll bring you back to right now for me right now is July 22nd at 241 but for you right now is obviously different um, so I'm going to close that if I want to look from somewhere else in the earth I can do it by clicking on other places in the map or I can just choose data, like, again, if I know the latitude and longitude of where I'm looking from, or I want to just choose the place from the map. Like, say I have a distant cousin in Mumbai, India. I just click on Mumbai, India, and I'd be like, man, look out the window. You can see two comets. Or three. Wow. Three comets. And four. Man, they've got a good view.